Good idea. Showing yourself which notes to play. Bad idea. Taking only a random pair of notes, neither of which are any sort of recognizable landmarks, and naming these fixed pitches variable names so that the entire discipline will have to count on variables. Good idea. Listening to the advice of the majority, who says that variable names are a bad idea. Bad idea. Scoffing the advice of the majority, who says that they're a bad idea, but making them look real fancy before insisting that they are the references. Good idea. Directly notating your notes so that they can be identified anytime, anywhere. Bad idea. Indirectly relating all your notes to these variables so that the first musical concepts a student has to learn are a couple flailingly stupid gimmicks. Good idea. Showing yourself all the notes you'll need to be shown. Bad idea. Neglecting the vast majority of the notes you'll need to be shown by notating only 39% of them, then trying to make up for the rest by lending them some real estate which has no recognizable landmarks whatsoever. Good idea. Since all pitch classes worldwide share the pitch class topography of a piano, dividing your notes into a natural groupings of a piano so that the pitch axis universally represents all pitch classes for every 12-tone instrument everywhere in the world. Bad idea. Selectively streaking through the notes in such a pattern that the notation fails to represent any single instrument anywhere in the world. Good idea. Keeping the pitch axis continuous, just like a piano, so that it's good for both hands. Bad idea. Breaking that pitch axis so that every time either hand moves, then one or both of these extra fancy looking but random pair of variables gets reassigned, making your references their own special kind of variables. And then spreading that break so that not only is this part out of range, but this part is way off scale, so that physical distances can't be implied. And then marking this area by one particular piece of unrecognizable real estate known as Middle C, a vagabond who is not actually the middle of anything. Good idea. Using an axis that directly references all of its notes, so that you can locate any one of them at any time. Bad idea. Using an axis that filters out many of its notes, then hands you back the filters. Good idea. Using an axis which can identify any range of notes that it chooses to identify, including the complete range if it wants. Bad idea. Using an axis which is fixed to that same 39% maximum, so that for many instruments, borrowing that unrecognizable real estate is standard. Good idea. Using an axis which is perfectly functional all the way to the ends of the axis. Bad idea. Using an axis which also reassigns its borrowed real estate so that just like distance, direction can't be visually applied either. Good idea. Using guidelines which divide the notes into their natural groupings, just like on a piano, so that not only directions but distances are exactly to scale everywhere. Bad idea. Using guidelines that selectively streak through their notes in such a pattern that it's not ever actually to scale anywhere. Good idea. Using an axis that leaves enough room for all of the notes so that they can operate freely in perfect harmony with each other. Bad idea. Using an axis that's so compact that its notes are frequently found bruising, swelling, and bleeding onto a different axis. Good idea. Keeping its conceptualization natural on at least the composer's native instrument. Bad idea permanently twisting its conceptualization so that it's only good on the accordion. Good idea. Representing music through a neat, clean, uncluttered blank slate that might look something like this before adding the notes. Bad idea. Representing music through packs of lines, scattered variables, and swarms of filters that look something like this before adding any notes. In fact, in this example, even though it's a theoretically simple sequence of notes, if you look at every single note, you'll notice that all of these notes are actually alterations of themselves, which just happen to be very fittingly misnamed accidentals.